What's good, YouTube? If you're watching this video, you successfully made it to layer seven of the OSI model, where we give you nothing but information that you can apply directly to your life. My name is Dewan. I'm your host, and today we talking that Python certification. Have you heard of it? I pause. Probably not. 100 Days of Code is going down. Today's day three. And shout out to the 100 Days of Code community, the Slack channel. I will have a link in the description for anybody that want to hop on board. It's really going down, people getting it in. Shout out to De'Air and everybody in the community. Now, so, Python. It's a hot subject. Automation, hot subject. If you're doing 100 Days of Code, you might want to get a certification for all of you certification holders out there. The Python Institute has a certification just for you. Let's check it out. All right. So the Python Institute, a notable organization, their institute committed, committed to development of an independent global standard in Python programming certification, which would allow programming specialists, software developers, and IT professionals from all over the world to assess and docu document their programming skills objectively and to gain recognition for their expertise. Now, that sounds pretty cool. You might be interested in this. So the Python Institute has four certifications. They have a entry level Python programmer. They have a cert certified associate in Python programming. They have a professional in Python programming one, and they have a professional in Python programming two. Okay. In this video, we're going to talk about the entry level and the associates. For any of you that may be the developers, these two certifications here may be for you. But in this video, 100 Days of Code, a lot of us are brand new to Python and automation. The entry level and the associates may be the best way to go, but I'll let you do your own research. Link will be in the description. All right. So the first one we'll talk about is going to be the PSEP the Certified Entry-Level Python Programmer Certification. This certification, it covers concepts like data types, containers, functions, conditions, loops, as well as Python programming, language syntax, semantics, and runtime environment. It covers Python 3 specifically, Here's all the information. Like I said, this link will be in the description. The duration of the exam is 45 minutes. It's 30 questions on the exam. Um, the questions are single choice, multiple choice questions, and drag and drop, as well as fill in the gap or fill in the blank. Then we also have the 70% scoring. So 30 questions at 70%. You do the math. Anyway, it's in English. There's two trainings, courses that are for this certification, and they're free. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. The price of the exam is $59. The delivery channel is through the Open EDG testing service. Hmm, not Pearson View. That's interesting. Okay, so you'll have to go through them to get this certification. That's that's cool. And so if you, if you go through this, this is actually the exam objectives for this certification. Now... Certification training for this. If you are a Cisco NetAcad student, in other words, if you were enrolled in the Cisco Networking Academy or if you have a Cisco Networking Academy login, there's a free training for PCAP Programming Essentials in Python. Um, learn Python, the language of IoT. The length of the course is 70 hours and the level is intermediate. It's instructor lab, but it's online and self-paced. So if you're interested in taking this certification, this course is free through Netacad. This is everything you'll learn from it. I'll leave a link in the description for this as well. And so if you're not a Netacad student, if you don't have a Netacad login, you can actually create an account on OpenEDG, which is free, and view the course there because they're actually the same people that run this course. So if you click this link, I believe it'll take you to the same thing. Yeah, so it'll take you here, and then you go through this, and then, again, it's the same course, I believe. I believe. I believe. Now, the PCAP exam. 
For those of you that are interested in the Certified Associate in Python Programming Certification, this is the level above entry level, just like the CSET and the CCNA, they have the PSEP and the PCAP certification. So if you've been putting in work and you're ready, this is how you do it. And you can actually look at their um, Certified Expert in Python Programming Professional Associate Entry Level chart here. All right, so the PCAP, it covers concepts like conditional execution loops python programming language syntax semantics and the runtime environment as well as general coding techniques and object learning object oriented programming not too bad it's also over python 3. the level is associates as well the exam number is pcap 31-02 and the prerequisites for this exam is none so if you want to get the pcap you don't have to take the PSAP first. So that's pretty cool. The exam is 65 minutes plus 10 minutes non-disclosure agreement and tutorial. It's 40 questions on the exam. The exam format is single and multiple choice questions. Like I said before, Python 3, the passing score is 70%. The language is English. And again, if you want to study for this certification, you can actually go through the Cisco Netacad. That's there. Now, the price of this exam is $295. It's not cheap, but hold hold that real quick. It's through Pearson View. So if you know anything about Pearson View, if you took a certification exam before, you probably went through Pearson View. But like I said, it's $295, but there's a catch. If you go through that open EDG training or through the Cisco Netacad training, either one, you get 50% off of your exam. So you'll actually pay $147 or $144 respectively if you decide to take this exam. Now, 100 days of code. I know you all are getting it in. I know you all are putting in work. Keep going. This is day three. Don't stop. If you got questions, hit the Slack channel, hit the Lab Every Day community. But whatever you do, just take it one day at a time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everything I talked about will be in the description below. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, and catch you on the next one. Peace.